growing concerns this morning as cases of respiratory viruses and the flu continue to rise. With COVID still lingering, health experts are hoping to avoid a so-called tridemic before the winter months. 13 on your side's Veronica Ortega joins us in the newsroom now with more. And Veronica, what can be done to stop the surge of illnesses here in West Michigan? Meredith, Emily, doctors say the best defense against these viruses is to get vaccinated. While there's no vaccine yet to prevent RSV, there are for the other two. In the case of the recent updated COVID booster, it appears not many Americans are taking advantage. The bivalent booster rolled out in early September. According to the CDC, only about 23 million people have received the shot. That's less than 10% of the population. A local infectious disease expert says there could could be a few reasons why the rate is so low. First, severe illness and hospitalization are down, so people are less scared of COVID. Second, with the midterm election less than a week away, the pandemic has taken a back seat. Finally, he says there's misinformation about the bivalent booster. And so every year that that flu vaccine changes just a little bit. We don't go out and test that flu vaccine on you know, hundreds or thousands of Americans before we roll it out because the vaccine technology is safe, it's effective, we know a lot about it, and we have tons of experience with it. The same thing's happening with the COVID vaccine. Dr. Jameson says that the dominant strain is the highly contagious BA5. He says the bivalent booster is different, containing both the original strain of COVID as well as Omicron and its subvariants. He says to protect yourself against reinfection, you should get the new booster. Uh, we know that when you get this Omicron booster, your antibodies to Omicron specifically are much higher than if you've had previous infection or if you've had the original booster. Dr. Jameson adds that people at high risk can still get very sick and end up in the hospital. He says to protect yourself and those around you. Again, you should get the bivalent booster. Meredith and Emily, according to the CDC, there are two new variants, BQ1 and BQ1.1. They account for nearly 17% of cases right now. Both are descendants of BA5. Experts believe that this means the bivalent booster will work against them.